Hello everybody, how you doing? This is Mr. Douse. On this video I'm going to talk about a special relationship uh, of similar triangle problems that I call the two side splitter. Keep in mind this says part 5. If you have not seen my part 1 and part 2 video, you might struggle on part 5. Uh, you might even want to look at my part 4 video, but you need to at least look at part 1 and part 2 if you're struggling with what I'm doing right now. And you're welcome to go to my website, look under these titles, under my geometry lessons, and you can watch those videos. Uh, but anyways, why do I call this the two side splitter? Well, on the two side splitter problems, you're going to have a small triangle as part of the big triangle. Uh, just like the one side splitter problem I had. Uh, this says triangle ABD is similar to triangle ACE. So triangle A to B to D, this triangle is similar to this big triangle ACE. And what happens is this side of this small triangle actually splits this side AE into two parts and chops this side AC into two parts. And so what we have here is uh, AD is 6 and DE uh, all the way down here is 10.5. The entire side AE though would have been 16.5 from A all the way down to E. Uh, and so that is one side. So this triangle, this side of this triangle has split this side into two parts and it does it over here as well. And so AB in this case would have been X and then from B all the way down to C that would have been 7 and so combined this whole side here would have been X plus 7. And so this is called the two side splitter because one side of the small triangle splits two sides of the big triangle into two parts. And so that's what I call the two side splitter. Now keep in mind these are similar triangles and so these triangles have these characteristics of all similar triangles where corresponding angles are congruent and corresponding sides are proportional. Uh, but you don't really need to rely on this because there's also an additional feature to two side splitters which helps simplify this problem just ridiculously. Uh, whenever you have a two side splitter you're always going to have parallel lines in them which set up the proportion for you. I have an arrow here and an arrow here indicating that these lines are parallel to each other. If you ever have parallel lines intersecting the same lines, then it cuts those lines up proportionally. And I've got videos you can look at uh, called uh, Parallel Lines and Proportional Parts, and you can watch that and it'll explain it here. Basically, since this line's parallel to this one, uh, this side is proportional to these sides over here that are being cut. And so basically, I can set up the proportion uh, likewise like it did right here. And so I have 6 over 10.5 equals x over 7. So again, this line that's cutting through the triangle is parallel to this line down here, and so it cuts these sides up proportionally to these sides. Again, the video I have is parallel lines and proportional parts. It explains this concept. And so I'm going to start solving this problem on the next page. Uh, triangle ABD is similar to triangle ACE, find X. So again, my goal here is to find out what, what this uh, segment is right here. Again, since I have parallel lines, it cuts these sides opposite of each other into proportional uh, uh, parts. And so I have my uh, proportion right here, ten, uh, 6 over 10.5 equals x over 7. I don't need to worry about the angle relationships. I don't need to worry about corresponding sides. It doesn't matter here. I don't need to set up small triangle over big triangle where I have the small triangle here and the big triangle. You're welcome to do that, but it's an additional work and it's not necessary. On these problems, whenever you have parallel lines and you have numbers across from each other on the parallel lines here, then it sets up the proportion for you. Uh, and so this is very, uh, it makes things a lot easier for you. And so I'm just going to start uh, cross multiplying here. 6 times 7, let me change colors here. 6 times 7 is um, 6 times 7. 10.5 uh, times x is 10.5x. And if I keep going here, 42 equals 10.5x. Divide both sides by 10.5. And I get 4 equals x. And I know that because I did the problem earlier, uh, before I did this video. So I know that x is 4 here. Now if I cross multiply here, I can use this to double check it. 6 times 7 is 42. And I could do 10.5 times 4. That is also 42. And so I know 4 is my answer here. So I know x is 4. Uh, and so, um, again, if I wanted to, I could have done a small triangle over big triangle. I could have done a small triangle and a big triangle where I have 6. And if I combine these, I would get 16.5. And then here, this would have been x. And this would have been x plus 7. And I could have set up the proportion using small triangle over big triangle. 6 over 16.5 and x over x plus 7. And if you did the math here, you would still get x is 4. Uh, and so you're welcome to work that if you want to. But this 
problem looks much easier than this problem. And so whenever you have a two side splitter, meaning you have uh, one triangle, uh, the side of one triangle is splitting two sides of another triangle and you have parallel lines, then you can set up this proportion this way and it just makes life a lot easier. Um, so I'm going to do one more problem here. I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to make those parallel lines go up and down instead of left to right. And that is going to complicate this problem just a little bit. Uh, but not too much. Now keep in mind here, I've got two sides here that are parallel to each other. These two lines are cutting these sides into proportional parts. And so keep in mind here, this is where it's being chopped. This is where these sides are being chopped. I'm going to put the equal sign right here. Uh, and if you ever have a problem like this, you, you can turn it 90 degrees that way and it will make it look more like this problem here. Uh, but again, wherever the parallel lines are is where I'm going to put the equal sign and then the little um, lines here on the proportion. And so essentially, I would have x over 6, x, oh sorry, x over 10. In this case, I would have x over 10 equals 6 over 4. Uh, or you could have done, um, you could have made it 4 over 6, depending on how you look at it, over 10 over x. It doesn't matter. Whenever you cross multiply, you're still going to get the same answer. You just want to make sure 10 and x are over, uh, above and below each other. You want to make sure that 4 and 6 are above and below each other. And so be careful here. Uh, oftentimes people will think, hey, here we go. That's the proportion. That's wrong. You always want to make the lines go parallel to the line that you have on the triangle. And that's what I have here. This line, this line, and these lines are all proportional, sorry, parallel to the line going through the triangle. And if I cross multiply here, I will get uh, my x here. So x times 4 is 4x. 10 times 6. So 4x equals 10 times 6 is 60. Divide both sides by 4 to get the x by itself, and I have x is 15 in this problem. So again, I know x is 15 here, and if you're not quite sure, plug in a 15 here. 15 times 4 is 60, 10 times 6 is 60, and 60 equals 60, and so this has to be correct. Uh, and so this is how you do the two side splitters. Anyways, hope you have a good day. Bye-bye.